Hey, Manny Bash. It's the 30th of October, 2018. Um, just another very strange yet uh, powerful to me little coincidence here. Uh, this is just odd, okay? Um, this article comes out today, okay? Of all days, they, they put out this article about this Grenfell Tower fire. That happened last year okay and they have to show an image of the actual like people cooking in there I'm, I'm just pointing out the the depths of the spiritual wickedness of this okay why would the BBC the two two three incidentally uh, put out this article about this tower burning the day before Halloween and they give an image of when it was actually burning people to death. That was happening at this exact moment. It's just very sick and twisted how this works. But my point is, is they released this article today. It has no meaning whatsoever into the investigation. They just rehash a bunch of old things and talk about some of the victims and tug on your emotions but they had to put this out particularly this image and i think i know why and this this happened on june 14th 2017 which incidentally is president trump's birthday okay he turned 71 on that day okay now this fire occurred i just have to do these things you know I go and I look, 6-14-2017 to today. I don't think a whole heck of a lot about it, to be honest with you, until I look at the number of weeks, okay? 72 weeks, exactly. And Trump just turned 72. But not only that, the total amount of people that were killed in this fire were 72. So, a little too much for coincidence for me, okay? So now I'm thinking about Trump. This is Trump's birthday. So what I end up doing is going back to Trump's um, inauguration all the way up to tomorrow, Halloween, because this has something to do with Halloween. And these are extremely interesting numbers. 649 days, okay? That alone we could sit here and play with, okay? You got the duality of man in the creation Okay, it's there's a lot there, but look at this combination. One year, nine months, 11 days. 21 months, 11 days. 92 weeks, another 9-11. I just thought that that was really, really uh, just odd. And from the day he was inaugurated until his birthday, on the same day that this fire occurred, this ritual, this blood sacrifice fire ritual, okay, was 144 days to the fire, 144, and then all the way from his inauguration till tomorrow is 649. That just rings something with me. Uh, and this one here, from the fire to tomorrow, 72 weeks, the same amount exactly of the people that died. And it's also a nine. I mean, we could do a lot of things with these numbers, but I'm just showing you the, you know, the blatant stuff. Because it just came upon me like, wow, that's not right. That There's something just completely bizarre about that. And it's just, again, them showing that spirit has to basically mock and gloat and show you its ritualistic little practices. And, you know, when you have the eyes to see it, you can't help it. And so you point it out, you shine the light on it so people can understand you're not dealing with, you know, evil men. You're, you're dealing with a spirit that is far more smarter than you or I. We cannot lean on our own understanding. You need Jesus. You need God. Okay? Period. I mean, you got to choose a side. It's just a matter of time, you know? But I had to show that to you guys. I mean, just the fact that uh, Trump from inauguration, which is really weird, uh, up until this Halloween tomorrow, 
is one year, nine months, 11 days. That's crazy. 21 months, 777. And there's, again, like I say, there's so much more we can do with these things, you guys. But this right here tells me that there is an end coming to this duality in this creation. Okay, that's just how I see it. The man, the creation, and the end, the the final stage, if you will. And then there's going to be a separation. Because 649, if I, as soon as I looked it up in the Greek, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Check this out. Apostello. Set apart. By implication to send out. Set at liberty. 133 times. But look where it's from here. Look at this word here. Okay. Apo. Off, that is, away. It usually denotes separation. Departure, cessation, completion, reversal. And look how many times this is in the Bible. 649. The same exact amount of days that Trump is in office as of tomorrow. 649. And when we look at some of the places that it's used, okay, is you saw what it meant, send out, set apart. I love it's like all Jesus, man. I mean, half the times it's used, it's Jesus. I mean, this is insane. Okay, really. So this means something. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds. <laughs> From one end of heaven to the other. 649. I thought that was pretty wild. And had to share it with you. Had to. What do you think the chances of that are? And it means completion, departure. Okay. So, Halloween. Wow. Who would have thought? We'll see. God's will be done, man. That's the bottom line. I had to share it with you guys. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 